Hi and welcome to Little Bits Honey Bees YouTube channel. I'm a skinny bee man. Today, second week in March, I'm checking on the bees the first time for the year. Make sure that they got food and, and, and what have you. This was full uh, full of sugar here and you see they're, they're out of supplemental food that I put on them. And, but the main reason I want to do this is because March is the month more bees starve to death than any other month in, in the season. And the reason being for that is because they've started brooding and the brooding or the, the red maples usually uh, bloom early and it gets them to brooding up and it, there's really nothing else blooming on them and it takes a, a massive amount of calories to raise brood. It just does. It just takes lots and lots of calories. And in, in March, you get nothing blooming and it rain for four or five days and they'll they'll starve to death. Three days without food, bees, the hive will die. You can see this, they got plenty of honey. But I don't take any chances. This is, here's got a beetle trap on it. And I had some uh, uh, dead outs, so, which I pulled the sugar bricks off of. I, mean, I can't even, I gotta go. I pulled the sugar bricks off of. So I'll give these a little piece of sugar brick. And here in my part of the country, I have small high beetles, so you got to be careful using pollen patty. But the spring is the only time that I use it at all. And this is a, a Hive Alive pollen patty. I've been feeding it exclusive for about three years now, and their uh, supplement for uh, the feed. You put it in the sugar sugar syrup, and I've got more bees than I ever had come out of spring, uh, out of winter. They, they, they look really, really good. But that's the main thing. You, you need to get in and check your bees these warm days and make sure, because like I say, March, there's more bees starved to death in March than any other month of, 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 of the year. Uh, you can see the, there's nothing, there's a little bit blooming now. I got the uh, Forsythia blooming. I think that's how you pronounce it, the yellow, big yellow bushes. But right here, other than that, there ain't much blooming here yet. The maples are already bloomed and gone. So you can see them bringing in pollens uh, there, but that's pollen sub. I feed them dry pollen sub. I start that in January. If they're out flying, I give them some pollen sub just to give them something, something to, to do. But anyway, that's all. be careful about your bees now. You can really lose them right now. They're brooding up. Uh, I had some of these boxes that had uh, eight frames of cat brood in them. And that's a lot of brood for this time of year. They're making drone cells already. It means they're gonna be early swarming season. So you need to get in your bees, see what you got. Make sure they got feed on them of some sort in case it goes to raining for a week or two and they can't get out and find something. Anyway, if you like the videos, hit the subscribe button, the bell next to it, and we'll catch you on the next one.